Previously on Blood Queens. There was a man at the party. Go, Heidi, go! 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 We have to look perfect. I mean, Holly Gildenson is throwing an event at our party. The Luxwood. What is all this? Holly, I love you so much! I'm your biggest fan! Look! Hello? Maybe if you go to the last floor of the complex? Oh yeah, with the other 100 struggling tenants, it's like a cell tower fell down and lost its boner. I would Google what the issue is, but I can't with no service. Maybe open the window. What part of locked in don't you understand? Whoever killed Holly clearly wants to kill us too. Have you even stepped foot out of this apartment since you ran in here last night? I'll go check out the scene if you step out of the apartment first. That way if you die, I know not to step out. Footsteps are already loud as is, because you're a whale, so don't say anything. Uh, yeah. You can first start by explaining why this place is emptier than Boscov's, two, why we're locked in here like inmates, and three, why this service is as non-existent as Ali Stygak. Excuse me, miss. And what were those pictures on the ground? Shh, keep it down. I understand what happened to Miss Gildenson is frightening. You don't want to startle any more tenants. I'd prefer if we keep it on the down low. Do you understand? What's that supposed to mean? Unfortunately, you are all under lockdown until the Luxwood can figure out how to mask what happened to Holly. It's an awful thing, but word cannot get out, otherwise the hotel will be shut down for good. I'm sorry, girls. So let me get this straight. We're locked in here like hamsters so you could save your apartment complex. Meanwhile, there's a killer locked in here too! Um, slow down there, girls, and I do recommend being quiet for that very reason. And there's nothing I can do, you'd have to take it up with the head. And in order to do so, you would need service, which is just as non-existent as your patience. Now, if you do not mind, I need to take this phone call. Ugh! Who is he? It's the Alistair Reynolds. His parents are only like bajillionaires and run all the Reynolds hotels. Celebrities are photographed in paparazzi photos in Vogue all the time in front of their hotels. Money makes me romantic. You! What were you two just talking about? No, that's none of your business, that wasn't this. Uh, yeah, it is our business if you're being all secretive after someone was just murdered. Listen, I'm in the same boat as you. I want to get the hell out of here, too. And I have a plan, and I think it'll work. Will you help me and my friends? We don't want to die. I will help you for return the favor, Madame. Girls, this is THE Alistair Reynolds. His parents only own the multi-million hotels in the country! But you can call me Star. 
He has a plan to help us get out of here. But you girls are going to have to be very careful. We have to play it safe because obviously we have a killer in here with us too. So it's going to make our plan a bit more tricky. If you girls want to escape with me, you're going to have to dress like maids to bypass the security cameras. We're going to go down to the first floor, I'm going to approach the landlord and distract him. He and I get along pretty well, so it won't seem unusual. You girls are going to tiptoe downstairs into the basement where all the files lie about this building. The files are down the steps and behind the bookshelf of tenant's information. You girls will have to split up. I need someone to search for the file that holds the information with how much money the Luxwood lost after the murders at the party in the 90s. I'm going to offer the landlord the money that was lost back then, along with the money that will potentially be lost when the news gets out about Holly. I need someone on the computer in the basement that holds all of the hotel's bank statements. I need you to print out the statements as validity to my offer. I know there's three of you, so whoever is the odd one can stick with whoever she wants to, and I suppose one of you will be alone. Next week on Blood Queens. Does someone know the cleaning service? Somebody paid the hotel $3 million the same day the murders happened 12 years ago. Gab, how long have you known Alistar? How long have you known Garbage Boy? I'm telling you, man. This is where I heard the music coming from last night. What do you mean he's helping them? Good job, I underestimated you, but did you change the plan?